Hi everyone, No Touchy with Touchy Gaming here. I know it's been a while since I've done a new video, I've been very busy, and there hasn't been a lot going on with Pokemon, especially in the VR world. So today I just wanted to go over a full guide and tutorial on downloading and installing Pokemon VR. A lot of people have been asking me questions in Discords for the links and that they weren't working properly and the downloads and this and that. So I just wanted to run over a quick guide for it. I will link every download for all the things you're going to need in here in the description as well so anything you need just read in the description go to the links download it from there and then just watch this guy and this should break it down all right so these are the files you're going to need to run pokemon vr you're going to need the main vr files your oculus setup melon loader the pokemon revive installer and virtual desktop if you're using the Oculus Quest do virtual. I recommend virtual desktop over the built-in. You will also need Steam VR downloaded and running in your Steam. You're gonna have to launch it through there. It connects in through the Revive installer. So once you have the Revive installer installed, that'll automatically connect to it. So I always recommend just dropping your melon loader on your main screen there, your desktop, along with creating like a Pokemon file, like a Pokemon VR folder like this. This is what it'll look like when you do have it all installed, but go ahead, just make a new one here, test Pokemon VR, write this up, and then just gonna drag and drop everything into there. The base Pokemon VR, whether it's 1.5 or 1.7, is gonna look pretty bare. Once you add the melon loader to it, it adds extra files. When you're doing this, remember for your Pokemon to select the mod you're going to use for the right Pokemon VR version. I use 1.5. You can use 1.7. What's the difference between them? I don't honestly know. There was a lot of updates in there, but I don't know if there's anything that's different as of now because it's still all server-side ran for right now. So everything's just being done by PokeCruise server. I'm sure he'll release more information if anything needs to change with this going forward. Hopefully we'll get an APK soon and that would be a lot easier. So this revive injector folder for your re revive injector installer, you're going to want to put that on the front too. That revive injector is what you're going to drag it to later on. Okay. So once we got this all set up in here, you see it's just these main folders. You're going to run the melon loader right here from this main automated screen. You're just going to pull up that new folder you made. Click Pokemon VR EXE. Just click that. Don't change anything else in here and just hit install. That'll just run right through it. It's going to add the melon loader and mods folder. Now you're just going to take your Pokemon 1.5 or 1.7 and you're just going to drag that over into the mods folder and you'll be all set to go. And everything's ready for that. So now all you have to do is just launch your Pokemon VR. The only easy way to do it is once the Revive Installer is set, just pull up that folder. Like I said, copy it over, drag it onto the Revive Injector, EXE just like that and wait for it to all launch it's going to pull up a configuration setting here in just a second after it launches your steam vr don't make any changes there just go ahead and hit play and it should launch to your vr i hope this was helpful i hope this guide explains it for anyone who's missing anything again all these links will be all the downloads will be in the link in the description so go ahead and go through that and now that you got pokemon vr up and going again you're free to just make your account and log right in. These servers will probably be reset down the line. It is still being worked on. The game is still not fully complete. A lot more is fixed. You can now battle, gain levels, learn moves. All your basic stuff is starting to work. A lot of different move types are working, but a lot are still not programmed in yet. It's going to take time for this to fully launch. You still do have to have a PC to play this right now. Hopefully an APK will be released down the line. I really hope this video was helpful to you and hopefully this will prevent a few of you from trying to reach out to me to ask questions. If you still do, you are more than welcome to join into the Lit Game Corner Discord, ask questions in there, or go directly to the Pokemon VR Discord. I'll link it here as well and go ask Pokecrew himself. They are still pretty active there too. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. Feel free to like and subscribe and good luck out there and everyone and don't forget to catch lots of shinies everyone.